and Emmanuel also, the president of ASU. I want to speak on a number of issues, two or three of them. One, the issue of corruption in the system. You see, in the past seven years, we'll be talking about it. But are we acting? I'm sure as we speak to, there are no less than 1,000 cases of corruption in Nigerian University among these sister councils. How many have been prosecuted? That is the question we should ask ourselves. We are in a country where if you don't punish, nobody takes this serious. So we talk, we talk. We, in my university, where I am, we, there are not less than 20 cases against a vice chancellor who left to the ICPC, EFCC, the police. But nothing happened. And today he's going to be awarded the national honor. So we should be acting. Two, regulations. About six years ago, the NUC, because if you look at the accreditation procedure, the guideline, it's nothing. Every university will pass through. And we were challenged to develop for them, and we did. It was never implemented. If you can have a, 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 a visiting lecturer, score half a point. So if you have 10 visiting lecturers, you already have 10, five lecturers. Is that correct? But they are not acted upon. And two, how many councils have been punished? We had to go on this strike. The law is very clear. We believe there are corruption in the system. There are malfeasance in the system. But the law that was enacted, the University of Michigan Act, and every university law was aware of that and indicated that a visitor every five years will set a high power delegation called Visitor Panel to a university to check corruption, check how universities are run, check my everything, I check. It took 11 years and I was tried before this panel was composed. I will not encourage corruption. The panel came in May, in March 2021. We are in October 2022. The resource is not out. The white paper is not out. I will not encourage corruptions. Next point. Appointment of vice chancellors and governing councils. Let me start with councils. In the good old days, you don't appoint politicians who are looking for a job as pro chancellor and a member of government council. But we go and check all the pro chancellors. They are, they, are, they are partisan politicians looking for a job. So they come. A vice chancellor appointed either based on village or based on community or based on religion. Is there any part of this country, a federal university, where you have a vice chancellor from another region? Not to talk about that country. Is Nigerians are vice chancellor all over the most country in the world, 20 countries all over the world. Can you have any how someone be vice chancellor in the, in, the, in the southeast or southwest? So we have destroyed this thing finally because of the time. When you now remove the university, the power of the university, and give to the what you call a bureaucrat, you have destroyed the system. A vice chancellor see a high power professor that you need to hire for a program. For you to, uh, I think Tauri Jika said that very well. For you to employ that, you have to go out to the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the head of service and say, please let me employ this person. Where does that happen in the world? Finally, somebody also mentioned the issue of, I think it's uh, uh, the first of IPPIS, a university that have a council and power with management of finances of a university. Now that council does not even know how is employed, who is paid, and how they are being paid, taking to an office of accountant general. In which part of the world are we having that? So my idea is that I want to appeal to ICPC. Please prosecute those who have done wrong. We, don't, we are tired of talking. Anybody who has done wrong, investigate and prosecute. Let the world see that one vice chancellor or one pro chancellor or whatever, or lecturer who are misbehaved has gone to jail. When you do that, the system will change. Not talking. We like talking as a country people. We don't like acting. All right.